Hello, Ray Franklin here, and I've got a little puzzle for you. How many of you know how many spots in total are on a die? Now, don't go counting on your fingers or getting your calculators out, but we will get the answer in a little while. But I will tell you this, whatever number you're looking at, the opposite side, the two sides together will add up to seven. So if I've got a one this side, the opposite side would be a six. Now, that's the first pair. Now we're going to go for number two. And talking about number two, that's what we've got here. Number two. So, two on one side and on the other side should be a five. We're doing good. We're doing good. Now the last pair... It would be we've done the one and the six, we've done the two and the five, now we go for the three. Now, the three, and what do we need to be on the other side? That's right, four. And you're thinking, just a minute, it's only got two sides and yet we've seen six sides. How is he doing this? That is a puzzlement. But it might be easier if we just show you all the sides at once. Now, there's nothing new about dice. The rolling of dice and the casting of lots has been practiced for a long, long time, even back in the days of the Bible times. When important decisions had to be made, People of faith, yes, people who went to the synagogue, people who worshipped God, and they had confidence in God, they would roll the dice or cast lots. And that through that they would say, that is the will of God. But today we don't need to cast lots or roll dice. Because that's not the best way to make a decision. Today we have a greater advantage that the godly people in the days of Jesus and the, it before. Because you see, we have the word of God. And every time we open the scripture, we get to see the heart and the will of God. The Bible contains principles that reach into every area of our lives. It's true, there is nothing that God isn't concerned about. We also have the Word of God and the Holy Spirit living in us. Oh yes, if we have accepted Jesus as our Saviour and asked Him to come into our lives, that's where He will be. Jesus said in John 16, 13, when the spirit of truth comes, it will guide you in all truths. Not some or part, but all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. That is what God has told the spirit to tell you. And it will tell you also of things that are to come. When we make a decision according to scripture and allow the Holy Spirit to renew our minds and refine our motives, we begin to make good decisions. And yet... There will be times when there will be a, you know, a little bit of uncertainty in our minds as to which way we should go. Should we do this? Should we do that? Should we go this way? Go that way? At those moments, I refuse to be sidetracked. 
but have faith in your Father in heaven. Even in uncertainties, God, shall we say, directs the roll of the dice. He knows all. He knows how it would land. Because God only has the best in plan for you. Remember, it's not on the roll of the dice. It's not the casting of lots. It's simply saying, Lord, show me the way. And he will direct thy path.